The Ravens are going home. They are out. Buffalo is in. Cincinnati has crushed the hopes and dreams of the Baltimore Ravens fans of making the playoffs. I can't believe it. Cincinnati actually did something right. They actually did something right for this city. Y'all couldn't make the postseason. Y'all haven't won a playoff game since Marvin Lewis has been the head coach. You haven't won a playoff game since the early 1990s. But you finally did something right. I'm happy. I don't like the Bengals, but I'm happy you, you did something right for the city. We're going into a new year. You will stop the Ravens from making the playoffs. Buffalo, making the playoffs for the first time since 1999. Crazy, crazy Buffalo, stand up. The city of Buffalo is going nuts right now. I just know it. And like I said, we're going into a new year, 2018. It, it just can't get any better for the Buffalo Bills fans and for the sports world. I mean, we've been waiting to see when they were going to get to the postseason. And with a Ravens loss, they get in. They handled their business in Miami. They defeated them 22 to 16. A fight even broke out. Miami was butt hurt. A lot of chaos went down in Miami in that game. They took care of their business, and they was waiting for Cincinnati to take care of theirs against Baltimore, and Cincinnati came through. So you guys can thank the city of Cincinnati. You can thank the Cincinnati Bengals because they, they came through. I'm glad they came through. The Bengals did something right for once. Now, I don't know if those reports – were actually true about Marvin Lewis getting fired because he denied them. But I'm hoping that he still gets relieved of, the, relieved of his duties. I hope he walks away. They talk, they're talk. talking about they want to keep him on the team, but they don't want him to be the head coach. But they want to still keep him around. But I don't know what's going to happen. I made my video on how I felt about Marvin Lewis and him stepping down at the time. That's what the report said, but we don't know what's going to happen. Chuck Pagano got fired. We're going into a different direction. I'm happy about that. The Titans are making the playoffs for the first time in a long time. It's a crazy, it's a crazy, crazy postseason that's about to be coming up next week. Next Saturday is about to be lit. I mean, it's about to be completely out of control. Like, you got the Rams in the playoffs. You got the Eagles. They got a first round bye. The um, Vikings, they, they got the first round back. Like You got teams that you didn't expect to show up this year and dominate. That, that dominated. Like the Rams, they came out of nowhere. They went from the worst offense to the best offense in the league. Crazy. Crazy, man. It's just, it just incredible what you can do when you get rid of a coach, a cancerous coach. Like Jeff Fisher, I mean, he has not done a great job as a head coach in this league. He didn't do a great job with the Titans, in my opinion, um, other than helping them get to the Super Bowl, but they ended up losing to the greatest show on turf, the Rams. But other than that, he hasn't done anything. I felt like the Rams did a great job getting rid of him, and Sean McVay has done an incredible job with that organization and such an incredible job with that young team. And Todd Gurley. It's my MVP in the NFL. It's not Tom Brady. He has played incredible. Lights out all season long. But um, some people are going to be all on Tom Brady's jock, and they're going to say, oh, Tom Brady has done this, he's done that. He has five Super Bowls, blah, blah, blah. I think the way he played this year, he deserves to be NFL MVP. I don't care about none of that. Todd Gurley has been a beast as well. So, I don't know. I feel like it's up in the air. Between them two, my pick is Todd Gurley, but if Tom Brady wins, I won't be disappointed because he has had a great year at the age of 40. He's been a beast this year, but that's it for me, man. Ravens choked. They couldn't get it done. All they needed was to beat the Bengals at home. They lost at home to the divisional rival Cincinnati Bengals. Titans are in. Buffalo, go crazy. You guys are in for the first time since 1999. Playoffs next week for the wild card. About to be crazy. You guys already know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. Subscribe. Share this video. I'm out of here. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. College playoff. It's going down.